Yesterday, an emergency mechanism in the electricity system was triggered by the system operator Transpower, requesting, net requesting network companies and direct grid connections to reduce load on their networks. Network companies then took action in response to this request, which saw a number of power outages across the North Island between 6pm and 9pm last night. This situation was caused due to insufficient generation being available to meet unprecedented, unprecedented demand on a cold winter's evening across the country. Yesterday's events unfolded as follows. At 6.43am, Transpower issued a low residual notice to participants following their forecasts showing a deficit in generation during the forecast evening peak. Transpower requested more generation or less load. At 1.02pm yesterday, Transpower issued a warning that there, were, that there was insufficient generation offers coming in for the evening peak and another, issue, another warning was issued at 5.07pm. At, at 6.40pm, Transpower issued a request for network companies and with direct grid connections to shed load by 1%. At 7.10pm, Transpower issued a grid emergency notice from this timeline, Mr Speaker, three things have become clear to me. The electricity market had clear warnings about the potential for the shortage situation. Secondly, there was inadequate communication with the public about the situation. And thirdly, that there is enough capacity in the system. This led me to write to the large generators asking what action they took in response to Transpower's notice at 6.43am. I also ask them to confirm with officials that they have confidence their companies are doing everything they can to maintain their generating capacity and ensuring security of supply. This is the number one priority for the electricity market. Since my letter this morning, Genesis has explained why it made a commercial decision not to operate one of its plants in response to the forecast shortfall. Transpower, Transpower will also apologise for the miscalculation in its demand reduction notice and their communication to the Lions companies through the warnings and notices given. I have asked officials to consider what more can be done to better inform the public in the event that a rear grid emergency is likely to occur. I am concerned that the system could not deliver given there was capacity that could have been brought on but wasn't. It is not uncommon for Transpower to issue requests for generators to bring on more generation to meet demand, but it is unusual for an emergency notice to be issued. But let me be clear, regardless of the mechanisms of the electricity market, New Zealanders rightly expect the lights to be on and the heaters to be running on a cold winter's night. And that's why the situation that unfolded yesterday was unacceptable. If we're going to have a market-orientated system providing security of supply, then that market must deliver. The market failed in this respect. This morning, I convened an urgent meeting of senior officials from Transpower, the EA and MB. I asked a series of questions and sought assurances about the ongoing operations of the market to maintain security of supply. I have also asked that a coordination group be established by MB to lead the response and commence a review of what has occurred. While we cannot undo what happened yesterday, we can thoroughly investigate the cause and take steps to minimise the risk of it happening again. I will add that this government has taken numerous steps towards ensuring the electricity market is working as it should, including a range of responses to recommendations from the Electricity Price Review. The recent spike in high electricity prices uh, as a result of, dry, of the dry hydrological year and a short-term gas supply issue led me to seek analysis on this from the Electricity Authority. Yesterday's events have prompted further questions on whether the system is fit for purpose. Barbara Kerrigan. Mr Speaker, thank you. Firstly, I want to say the National Party's thoughts are with all of those people up and down the country who last night expected to be home and be able to turn the heater on and instead had to face a dark, cold winter's night. Particularly to our elderly and those medically dependent who had to rush to hospital in those circumstances. 
My first question to the Minister is when was she first informed of the risk of a power outage and what measures did she take to inform vulnerable members of the public? Mr Speaker, I was first informed that there was an issue around 8.30pm last night. Um, the first, um, the, one of the first actions I took was to call Alison Andrews, the Chief Executive of um, Transpower, to get a situation report to find out what had been happening um, and what steps were in place. Had the Minister received any briefings from officials over the last six months suggesting that power outages were possible? And if so, what did she do in response to any advice she received? Mr Speaker, in the last six months I've re received a range of advice. As the member will be well aware that earlier in the year there was a concern that there could be um, issues due to the dry hydrological year, that the lake levels were rolled. But as the member will also be aware that that issue has resolved, that the South Island hydro system, it is now at around 103% of historical capacity um, for this time of the year. In answer to the question, had I received advice that the situation that occurred last evening could occur, the answer is no. Uh, I am aware, Minister, of the fact that uh, the hydro lakes have filled. Uh, my next question to you, is there a significant risk of further outages tonight? And if so, what steps is she taking to mitigate the risk? Um, Mr Speaker, um, as I'm sure members of this House would expect, I've been um, talking with officials and seeking assurances from across the, the sector around what is in store for New Zealanders tonight. And I would like to reassure New Zealanders um, that, we, um, that I have received those insurance, assurances from Transpower. I haven't had an insurance. The, most, the latest one is that there's going to be 540 megawatts of spare capacity um, in the system tonight, so that we're not looking at a repeat tonight. But given the, how quickly the situation changed yesterday, this is a situation that I will continue to keep seeking assurances on.